Said, the mother was the first guy. The English were slaves. The Russians, Hungarians, Armenians were slaves. The Greeks, the Italians, the Polish were slaves. Native America and India was enslaved. So how does slavery only apply to the African? This is what they want you to be. Let's bring it more again. Talking about Scotland. I'm gonna read, I'm gonna repeat this one more again. Please go to the Severe Bay Radio at gmail.com and support. I know y'all think a lot of people go there, but they really don't. They don't. Okay. You can't hear me. Let's do this again. Okay, are we good? Are we good? Okay, we're good now. Everybody's good? I don't know what's going on. All gravy. So listen. I said this and I'm going to repeat it again. Support, support, support. So listen. Where are you from? I'm from my mother's womb. Where are you from? I'm from my mother's womb. That's like going to court. People asking, where are you from? I'm from my mother's womb. That's the first God. My mother's womb. Somebody posted on one of my um, comments. We have the most educated fools. Gary and Anna. My mother's womb. My mother's womb. Somebody posted on my comments. Yeah, tell y'all. And let me share something for y'all women. Y'all ready, woman? I say this a lot. This is from Simone Parker. Karis, one wife. And if a man, if you want to piss a man off, listen. My first apartment. I like that one. If you want to piss a man off, 
This is why people ask me why I don't ever argue with people. And I'm going to show y'all why I don't argue with people. I deal with facts. If a man ever piss you off, woman, excuse my French. If a man calls you a bitch, say that you are a bitch. Say that you are. You want to piss them off? You want to really piss them off? Say I'm a bitch. Why am I a bitch? Because I take control here. I ain't saying that. I ain't saying that. I just don't give up my information like that, but it's all love. You can go to Google me or go to YouTube. He said, beautiful, intelligent, thoughtful, caring, and honest. Ooh, I like that one. Because you can tell them, I, because I take control here. Because I take control here. And they do take control. So you want to make a man mad? Don't argue with nobody. That's why you don't never see me get arguing with nobody. But I'm going to show y'all something. You ready? Because there's a couple of books I'm going to come out of because I guess my brother didn't want to buy the book. Those acronyms are great. I told you. No doubt. Just, and this is why I piss people off. Even though people may disagree with me, like my brother just jumped on here, it's something that I'm saying that he likes. Because if you did not like what I was saying, you wouldn't be on my thread. I don't argue with nobody. Let me show you why. I told you how you piss people off. How you piss them off. You never see Sabir Bait. Go through all my videos on YouTube. Go to all my IGs. Go to all my periscopes. The Europeans of the Europeans tried to piss me off and they don't piss me off. So you definitely can't piss me off. I laugh at my pain. Most people love to argue. Now they just arguing all day. Arguing cause stress. Arguing cause stress and cause cancer. I don't do that. I detox. Stuff like this. I detox myself from niggatology. Yeah, he, he watching somebody else's video with that simp stuff. He, he watching someone else's video with that simp stuff. You can tell what videos they watching. They must think they over those channels. They's at, they're at those channels. He still didn't put up that $100. He's not going to put I told you that. you thought I was playing? He's not going to put up. And tomorrow, he still won't put up the $100. Just, dude, this simp is back. Yeah, this simp is back on. I got it. Check it out. Hold up. Because of stress and high blood pressure. Exactly. But I just gave you something to kill all that. I got something to kill niggatology too. I have something to kill niggatology right but check it out the reason why i bought this book a while ago and i have one home but i bought this one again tonight this book if you know and live the book the art of deception deception the introduction to critical thinking the introduction to critical thinking this is the art of war This is the art of deception. How you win arguments. Defend your case. Recognize, this is what I recognize in most people. See through deception. The art of war talks about the art of deception. Did I type niggerology? Yes, that's what you that's what it is. The study of niggerism. The study of niggerism. That's what it is. So the art of war talks about deception. Right? If you ever read this book, it tells you that all war is based on deception, right? But we're going to get into that. Just bear with me. But this is how you deal with stuff. Turn defeat into victory. What I just tell y'all earlier, if you get on a thread with me, on a treadmill with me, you will lose all day. But we're going to go into the Scottish thing for you too, brother. Don't, don't, don't bear with me. But the difference, sister, be the book. Don't read the book. Be the book. Once you see the games that's being played on people every day, once you see the deception that's in football, basketball, all of this stuff that's happening, the love, love and no hip hop, the Atlanta and no housewives, the stuff that's on TV. Okay, so bear with me. Just chill. You're going, you're going to get all that. You're going to get all of that. Don't worry about it, brother. See, this is why he get on here, because he wants this information. This is why he get on here, y'all. 
So we're going to take you through a journey on this book. Read to comprehend. Do not read to read. Thank you. So I'm going to show you all something. Why I don't why I don't argue with people. If you look this book up, it was written in the 1800s. See, she says she's been in corporate America for 18 years. OK, we're going to build on that, too. Take it conscious. Fill it with your nonsense. Oh, I like that one. I like that one. So look. Reason why Sabir Bay does not, does not argue with nobody, because this is what I do: attacking arguments. See that? Learning the techniques, attacking arguments. How you do it? The first can build a stronger case for your position, right? It was given to me. By a Muslim brother. You know why? Bay is not a name. And anybody who has common sense know that Bay is not a name. I was in a, in, a, in a Bank of America and a lady from Palestine said, you know Bay is not a name. See, y'all say it's a name, but Bay means it's a title. You know that? Bay means it's a title. It's not a name. Title. It means governor. You govern yourself. See, the problem is with people with this misinformation. Sabir is not even a name. Sabir is not a name. Christians had names. Let me repeat this one more time for y'all. Christians had names. We had titles. Titles is what you, we give our, like when they get baptized or you have a child, they go through this whole process of giving a child a name before the child is born. No, 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 no. That's not a traditional culture. No, Bay, B E Y, my name, Bay, B E Y, not gay, Bay, B E Y, <laughs> not gay. So, you're not even comfortable being yourself, so you took someone else's picture and name. Wow, that's what he did. He may have done that, took somebody else's picture and put it up there. But listen, we never. Yes, Bay means governor. We never, never named our child just to name our child. That is a Christian European's concept. A Christian European's concept. Okay? So, eels are lawgivers. What you would do is watch a child. Right? You want you let a you watch a child and you judge a child on what they do. You don't even name yourself. So sabir means patient. Saba, you have saba, which is to know. Spanish sabir, patient. Sabek, the opener of the way. Did I break it down to you? Did I give you my whole title? Did I give it to you? Did it make sense? You can do the research on it. Talk to a Spanish person to ask them what the saba, saba means. Saba means to know. Sabir means to be patient. Sabek means the opener of the way. So I am the opener. I'm very patient and I do know. You see how that works? That's how this works. So it's not necessarily a name. You follow me? So you're not going to win an argument with me because I'm telling you. All I'm going to do is piss you off and you're going to start using profanity. That's all you're going to do. I can tick you off. I used to box. Anybody that knew how boxers do, you would tick you off by silly stuff. Remember Muhammad Ali used to play the game? He would talk about you. He would taunt you. He would do things. I'll do that to you all day. Trust me. You ain't going to win this one, baby. You should sit back and fall back and read. But bear with me for a minute. Let me show some more of this book. Like the name in the Bible, Noah means rest. Exactly. No doubt. They're not names. Europeans say that they're names. They're not names, people. You never name yourself. You never name yourself. Presenting facts. Let me show you something in this book again. Have that dude brought any facts? No facts that he's presenting, right? How do you present facts? 
Facts can always be proven, analyzed, measured, not a belief system, a fact. Totally different. This is why all your attorneys, all your politicians play the game with y'all. Why do you think they never go up against me? Think about it for a minute. When you present facts, when you are in courtroom, right? They say, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the, the truth, right? No, I have the redemption stuff is old news to me. That's from 1996. I have stacks of that stuff. I threw it away. The redemption is in my head. I've been there, done it. I've been in this game for a long time. I've been in this game before there was a YouTube on the scene. I've been doing radio for 15 years, people. Radio, not blog talk, not YouTube, not Instagram. Radio for 15 years. Philadelphia in California. Two spots. Philadelphia in California. I've done, I have documentaries. I have films. As a matter of fact, while we're talking about this, while we're talking about that, I got to promote my, I, I got to promote out of darkness. Where you at? Bear with me. Bear with me. Now listen, 15 years in radio, WNJC, WKDU, WURD on the East Coast, LA Talk Live, and, and RMC in California. Long time, people. I've been in this game for a minute. But why do they hide me? Because they don't want y'all to know this information. And I have films. If you go to IMDB, IMDB and punch in Sabir Bay, you will see it. This is the baddest documentary out. And if you have not seen this yet, I suggest y'all get it. Buy 10 more copies for everybody. Black History Month is coming up. This is something that y'all should show people. The baddest documentary out. Produced dopely. 2015 Pan-African Film Festival. Yes, I do. So. Okay, and let me give y'all the breakdown of this. Everybody in here gets a check three times a year. You can talk to anybody in here. Three times a year, people get a royalty check from this. We need this on a platform. Yeah, we do. But they're trying to hide it. Three times a year, they get a check. You can talk to anybody in here. They get a check. No, I know a lot of people from different places. I'm going to go to Chicago this next month. I'll be at Savings Day next month. So, I am the producer, Nina, and director, Amadeus Christ. Does this let y'all know? Okay? And I'm in it. Okay? So, if you have not, I am the producer of and I'm in it. $24.95. Plus shipping. I only have one, two left. I'm waiting for some more to come in. So, this is it. All right? Out of darkness. Hashtag it out, everybody. Hashtag out of darkness out. Please do that for me. I'm trying to go on a... All right. On the road with it to promote it in different places in Canada. So, if you have something for Black History Month, let me know. Sabir Bay Radio at gmail.com. You can get it from Amazon. Um, you get it from me. Um, I only have two left. If you hit me before I get off of here, we should have this for so called Black History Month and have me come in and speak. It is the dopest documentary. Amazon is a little different, but it is on Amazon if I don't have them. But I only have two copies left. I'm waiting for my other shipment to come in. Um, shout out to my brother Amadeus Christ, which is a dope director. This we did we just got done filming Heavy as the Crown. Heavy as the Crown gonna be heavy when I tell y'all. Heavy. But we need y'all support. Y'all put all this money in all these other documentaries, though. Here you go. But the difference is between this documentary and the other documentaries, everybody gets a royalty check three times a year. Three times a year. Go ask them. Okay?
We don't play. There's no one shot deal. That's business. Okay, people? Out of darkness. PayPal, Sabir Bay Radio at gmail.com. S A B I R B E Y. S A B I R B E Y radio at gmail.com. And while you at it, you can really go to all my other shows. Okay? All my stuff is on YouTube. Sabir Bay. Google Sabir Bay. Everything is there, people. Everything is there. I know I'm in New York. They booked me for New York for the 17th of February to speak back in Brooklyn. And I said, I really don't want to do any more really lectures. I want to do motivational. So let's get into this now. Grammar and identifying arguments. Check this out. How do you, why do you think I don't get upset when people come at me? You saw 08 at the end. Why do you think I don't get upset? When people come at me, why do you think I don't get it? Because I understand arguments, grammar, pronunciations, reading, comprehension. These cats can't comprehend what they're reading. But everybody in any kind of position reads books like this, read books like that, read books like that. You see what he said? He'll read the Cody. But you hear what he said? He read the Cody for free, right? But he just told me he'll put up $100. You see how hypocriticals are, what people are? You see how people are? You see what he just said? The Cody for free. You won't get out of darkness for Cody for free. You see how that is? People love to hear themselves talk. Do you understand that's why? I can, boy, I will set them cats up. They wouldn't even get it, yo. <laughs> Cats would even get it. It's not there. Thank you very much. So look. Arguments. Y'all don't get it. Why do you think I don't never get upset when someone tries to come at me? I'm going to give you everything. You, what they say, I'm going to give you enough rope so you can hang yourself. I'm going to give you enough rope to hang yourself. I do this with everybody. What makes you think no, why do you think no attorney ever go up against me? No, I'll support, I'll be a purchaser. I'm, a, I'm an author and fully understand the need for support. Listen, I'm going to write a book, sister. I got a book. I have a title too. Dope. Dope, 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 dope. Dope. My book is coming. Just enough information to be dangerous. Mm, my book is going to be bananas, boy. Bananas. But it's going to be in chapters, like out of darkness. But check it out. This book, again. Look. Now, I'm not saying the title. Oh, hell to the nizzo. Only me and the sister that's doing the book with me knows the title. Oh, listen. Sis, you ain't never lie. That's why I can't tell people what I'm doing out here in Texas right now. We filming. I can tell you about Heavy is the Crown because Heavy is the Crown. You can't take it. It's almost done. But I can't tell nobody what I'm doing in Texas right now because people love to steal your content. Like they steal my content when I do videos. That's why people say, why you speak the way you speak, Sabir? Because I know somebody's on here is going to steal something because they're not the originators. But one thing that I, I'm going to share with y'all. One thing that Caravus once said to me, if you are the originator of anything, no one can come in and take what you did. I'm going to keep it real. That's what he told me. If you are the originator, no one can come in and take anything. Yes, I do keep it a secret. And anything that's secret is sacred. Just drop the vows. <laughs> Don't believe me? Anything that's secret, she says, which is secret, is sacred. Drop the vows. That's all you got to do. Secret, sacred. What is it called? Definitions. 
You just said it again. There you go right there. See that? There, there's the case of truth. You just said it. See how that works? Truth by definition. You see how that works? The sisters just said truth by definition. Right? So, the next key will bring me right back to what? <laughs> Etymological dictionary, English language. You see how that works? So, I don't argue with people. I told y'all this before. I will make this the best YouTube that you will ever see because I can touch on anything there is from law to history to whatever you want to talk about and bring it full circle right back again. Right back again. So, I don't argue with people like that. Wordsmith. Etymology. Etymon is the science. Etymology is the study. Two different. Let me give it to you one more time. Etymology is the science, and etymon is the science. Etymology is the study of. One is the study of words, and one is the science of words. Plain and simple. Not complicated. Not wordplay. It's language. That's all it is. This is why everybody in court or these attorneys can manipulate the masses of the people. They know how to manipulate the masses of the people because you don't know how to argue. And when you argue with somebody, what happens? People get mad and be like, well, F you. I'm going to block you. See you later. Next lifetime. That's what people say. Next lifetime. See you later. F you. But we were before the Greeks. So before there was a Greek, it was us. Everyone stole from us. They did not create language. They took language and, de and manipulated the language and changed it around to fit them. Like phila. Where I'm from, Philadelphia, the P is an F. Let me say this one more time. The P is an F. As alif. In Arabic, alif, lamb, lid. Alif, phila, right to left. They argue with emotions and not results. Exactly. Emotionalism is what that's, you know, you hear somebody say, don't get caught up in your emotions. No, this is factology. It's factology. People who cannot comprehend. Remember what this book said. They can't comprehend. Comprehension, people, analytical and critical thinking. Let me give this to you one more time. Analytical and critical thinking. You don't get upset with nobody. What happens they can't comprehend, so they have to throw in semantics. They have to play words, say word games. They have to throw all these things in because they're not going to sit here long enough to get this. That's why you see majority of these people on YouTube get upset. That's why these YouTubers get upset and block people. You ain't never see Sabir Bay say, I'm blocking you. How many people have been watching my videos for the longest and ever heard me say I'm a block you? The only time I would block an individual if a, a, a individual can't belligerent and started cursing a lot. Well, you have resolved your truth. Emotion should not. Exactly. Because people are not living in their truth. That is the key. People are not living in their truth. Y'all should share this one out to everybody. I hope they get this message. Somebody told me to deliver this message. Remember that song by Teddy Pendergraft? Who remembers that song? And to pass it on. Remember that song? Teddy Pendergraft? Somebody's told me to deliver this message. And to pass it on. Truth don't change, baby. Truth don't change. That's a classic. That's why they had to kill music. They had to kill music. Because it was a message in the music, people. Let, Brent, let him do it. Because I'm going to eat him up in a minute. I'm going to eat him up in one second. And everything that I show him, I hope this dude go look it up. Sounds good for what you sung, sang. I don't, I'm only 40. Laugh out loud. Don't remember that song. You bet. Listen, it doesn't matter. I have a freaking eight-year-old who know Harold Melvin in the Blue Notes and Teddy Pendergraft. 
It doesn't matter how old. You're old enough to know that one, though, seriously. But if you are a music person, you would know music. If you know real music, I said this and I'm going to say this again. Chinese people have been listening to the same Chinese music for 300 years ago. Why? Because we went away from it. Now it is. It's, it's by design, sister. I've been doing radio for 15 years. I'm trying to share with you what happened. I grew up in Philadelphia with Gamble and Huff. Phyllis Hyman's. Like, I heard that stuff growing up. I had parents that was older. Teddy Pendergraph, Temptations, all this stuff, Ball of Confusions. I grew up listening to that through my parents. But if you are a real musical person, you would research it. It's the same thing with hip-hop. I've been in this music game for a minute. I've been in radio for a minute. So what happens, they had to kill the music. Kill it. It don't touch you anymore. Just like the information don't touch us anymore. At all. It don't. So you should know Teddy Pendergraph, if you know Phyllis Hyman. Rest in peace. He was a distress killed her too. Okay, so let me get into this. The reason why I said these cats is not going to win with me, because I understand arguments. I know arguments. I know how to tick you off. So let me go into this book. You saw me with my Ethiopian brothers, right? So rock with me for a minute. Let's go into ancient and modern Britain. This book was written in 1884. Yes, he was phenomenal, boy. Well, they're going to argue against truth. You know why? Because they thought what they were getting before was truth. That's why. They thought what they were getting was truth. So let me show y'all something. Y'all know who Rupert Murdoch is, right? Everybody know who Rupert Murdoch is? Do anybody know who Rupert Murdoch is? No, you don't know? I suggest y'all look him up. I suggest everybody look up Rupert Murdoch. Look him up. Straight up. You know, LeVon know who he is. Rupert Murdoch. Let me show y'all something, right? They are arguing. Right? Check it out. Look what it says here about Rupert Murdoch. Look, remember I told you everybody roots go directly back to us? That's in this book. But the book was written in 1884. You can go online and look it up. But this is from 1991. You say if you better know how to, if you read news publications, you better know who Rupert Murdoch is. They ain't never, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell y'all. Thank you very much, Australian Board Media Mogul. There you go right there. That's how you do the research on people. So when people have these arguments, why is he noted in this book? It'll tell you who he is right here. Right? Here you go. Look, Gaelic, I have that. So he want to talk about the Moors? The black speech of the Moors? The black selks? Hold up. The African tribe, the Linden and Napi of North America? Why is it in this book? The Aboriginal tribes. Moorish. So he asked me about the Moors, right? So I'm giving it to him, right? Populations. Those picks Moors. This is not a book in 1920s, people. This is not a book in 1930s, people. This is not a book where <laughs> it's an old book. Right? 
So we argue and don't know truly who the Moors are, right? So we're going to walk through this book. Just a second. Even the term Danish come from us. The Danish, as in the Danes. David McRitchie. That's all you got to do is punch. This is a well-known book. Everybody quotes this book. Well-known book. Book been out since 1884. When you look at the storyline, most people don't know. Right? Do you know the storyline behind Popeye and Brutus? Anybody knows that? The people who I told this story to before, please don't say nothing. The people I told this storyline to before, do not say nothing. I want the people who think that they know. Ding, 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 ding. I just saw it now the cartoon Popeye and Bruno. I told this, I told this many on many times. I even did it on radio. I did it on radio. Anybody? Iva, let me see. I need that article. Let me see if I can find this article. Popeye re represented the Moors. No, Popeye didn't represent the Moors. No, he did not. No, Papa didn't. No, Papa did not. Olive was arc was actually, I can't find my article, but everybody saw the article. Do you have that article with Spain fall before the same Moors tribes? Oh, oh I, I can't. I lost mine in the market. I no, you ain't gonna find it. All right, in the article, was Spain fall to the same Moorish tribes? Popeye was the English sailor man. Remember he used to say that? Olive was the sister. Olive was y'all, the sister. Olive oil. Brutus or the Brits were you and I. So who, they were fighting over the woman. When they were fighting over the woman, whoever impregnates the woman inherits the land. Y'all not hearing me though. The one who is fighting over the woman, whoever impregnates the woman, it hurts the land. Land does not come from the man. It comes from the woman. So they were always fighting over one another. Okay. They was fighting over. I'm Popeye, the English sailorman. Brutus always had a hue complexion. If you look at the color of black and white, you will all see hue. Brut um, Brutus always had a hue complexion. Always. You have to understand Britain, y'all. You have to understand who the Brits were. And we also were fighting against each other. Olive is natural. If you ever see Africa, and the Ripley's a believe it or not, even on Hollywood Boulevard, right? Majority when break blackness up to you. So in Hollywood Boulevard, they used to, if Ripley's believe it or not, they had Olive with these things on her neck. And the Ripley's believe it or not. That's an African tradition. That represented the woman. That was the African woman. Olive is our complexion. Right? Popeye was the Englishman. Brutus was us. Not British. Ish means to be like. We were the original Brits. This is why this said. You seen that? at Yeah, you saw it at the beach, right? We the original Brits. This is why even with Dodi Afayette, they called him a sand nigga. Remember that? They called Dodi Afayette a sand nigga. Remember that, y'all? Remember? Princess Diana was pregnant at that particular time. Listen to me. Listen to me clear. Listen to me. Princess Diana was pregnant. She was European with a sand nigga. They wasn't going to let that happen. So the son is doing what now? What is the son doing that y'all making a big thing about now? What is the son doing? What's his name? Henry? Charles? She was pregnant. They couldn't let that happen. Couldn't let that happen. What is the son is ha what is the son's name that's getting married to the sister now? 
a black woman. Not a black woman. She's a Moor. She's a Moor. So through the woman, the sister, where all civilization starts from. They're going right back. Harry. And he's Irish. If you look at him, Irish. Britain. That's their family lineage. Lineage, right? The, the white on the flag represents Ireland, Scotland, France, Britain, Germany, and Holland. The six white stripes represent the six European nations. Six European nations. Not white nations. Six European nations. Exactly. What a second. Wait a second. I didn't know that it was a Moor. Yeah, she's a Moor. All of us are Moors. All of us are Moors. Let me give you the history because I know you kind of knew, sister. But let me give you the breakdown. Bear with me. Bear with me. Black and colored, like white, are on the other hand, European words. Ethiopian and Moor were properly used to describe the so-called blacks until the 1500s. This book was written in 1920s, 1930s, 1920s by that time. So we were Ethiopians and Moors. So what happened, if you study history far enough back, you will get everything. That's why I don't argue with fools. You don't argue with fools. You don't do that. Let me show you something else from another book, right? That was from this book. Now, this is in a book that, from ancient and modern Brits in New England, spoken indefinitely as Indians and Moors. And our British Indians were also remembered as Moors. Moors or black people. You see that? 1884. Right? I'm going to show you something else. Bear with me. In 1681, not, not 1677, not 1927, not 1967, but in 1681, the Indians of New England, or Moors, as they were also styled by the settlers, were pronounced by William Penn to be as black as what? Gypsies. This is what they were talking about you, 1883. But wait a minute. When you go down a little further in here, as black as gypsies signify that they, right? Same people. European was darkening their faces that look like us, artificially, so they can look like us. Blackamore. I can show you what that is. This book was written in 1884. Hold up. We're not finished yet. There's the Moorish chief. Wait a minute. Where's my educated people that lies to our people? That we was all slaves. The Afro-American newspaper. Right? 1937, Merlin. Langston Hughes talks about the Moors. I knew that Spain once belonged to the Moors, a colored people. In 2012, I was shocked to see so many black. Yes, because if you go online right now, sis, anybody, somebody, please punch and put the link up there. 
Yes, and you know what they, how much, yeah. British Museum because I was so curious. Yes, all that stuff is about you. It's you, right? So let me see if I can find something for y'all. Bear with me. I think I have it somewhere. Matter of fact, I got it for you right here. Hold up. I got it, sister. I got it. Here you go. Check it out, my sis. Will Spain fall to the same Moorish tribe that conquered her in 711? This is in 1938, right? In Ohio. Right? 1938. Washington, D.C. archives in August. August. So now, let me show you something. Remember I just told you about Olive, right? The Moors were originally were nomadic tribes of Berber and Hamitites in Northern Africa. They were dark skinned, sometimes almost black, but often displaying the olive hue complexion of the certain of the Caucasian people. You see that? You see that? Olive. I just told you about the storyline. Right? Where is our black scholars talking about this at? Where is the black scholars telling y'all about this? Because they can never have the Moors rise back up again. Never. Ever. November the 1st, 1893, this newspaper right here. This is in Washington, D.C. It's not, you will never find it in the African American Museum at all. That's one newspaper. This is the other one. This is the Afro American newspaper. Okay? So, Langston Hughes, right, wrote a letter in 1937. You see what he said? What he was talking about? Let me scroll down. To them Moors as dark as me. This is what Langston Hughes was saying. So, why ain't the black people talk about Langston Hughes talking about this? Have you ever heard any of your black scholars, people talk about that? Have you ever heard any of them talk about this? About Langston Hughes? No. You didn't. So somebody is lying or somebody misleading somebody. Because I can walk through this to y'all. <laughs> right? So, let me go a little further. Oh, did, did, did y'all look it up, I said? Look up the four moors. Look up the four moors, people. Four Moors in your